We are now in lesson 2, base, percentage, and rate. At the end of this module, you are expected to define percentage, rate or percent, and base. Identify the base, percentage, and rate in a problem. Determine whether the missing element is percentage, rate, or base. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1, blank percent of 10 equals 10. So the missing is rate because of percent sign. Number 2, 12 percent of 72 is blank. The missing element is percentage. So I'll give you 2 minutes for number 3. 4 and 5. Seventy-five percent of the pupils of Mrs. Robles attended the magic show. How many pupils attended the magic show? The number sentence in this problem, seventy-five percent of forty is blank. What is the missing part in the mathematical sentence? Let's analyze the problem. How many pupils did Mrs. Robles have in all? There are 40. 40 is a whole or total number. It is called base. How many percent of the pupils attended the magic show? 75% is the rate which can be expressed as ratio or as fraction. How many pupils attended the magic show? The answer is 30 is 75% of 40. 30 is the percentage. It is a part of the whole. Therefore, the missing element is percentage. Study these examples. 15% of 60 is 9. 15% is the rate. 60 is the base, while 9 is the percentage. 15% is the rate. It is given as percent. It can be expressed as a ratio or as a fraction. Rate is the number with the percent sign. 60 is called the base. It is the whole of which you take the percent. Base is the number that usually follows the phrase percent of. 9 is called the percentage, meaning part of the whole. Percentage at a constant rate is directly proportional with base. In symbols, P equals R times B, where P is the percentage, R is the rate, and B is the base. Another example, 54 is 45% of 120. The rate is 45%. While the base is 120, and the percentage is 54. For activity 1, identify the base, rate, and percentage. Do it on a sheet of paper. Number 1, 20% of 40 is 8. The rate is 
20%. Yung may percent sign. The base is 40 and 8 is the percentage or part of a whole. For number 2, 540 is 45% of 1,200. Of course, the rate is 45% and the base is 1,200 and the percentage is 540. So, I'll give you 3 minutes to answer number 3, 4, and 5. Time starts now. For number 2, activity, write rate, base, or percentage on the blank to identify what element is missing. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. 30 is 15% of what number? What is the missing element? The base. For number 2, what is 78% of 100? And the missing element for number 2 is? Correct. That is percentage. So I'll give you time to answer number 3. 4 and 5. So, let's do it. For activity 3, read the problems carefully and determine what element is missing. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. In a 50 item test, Nestor got 95% correctly. How many correct answers did he get? So, what is the missing element? For number 1, yes, the percentage. For number 2, a refrigerator marked 7,200 pesos was sold at a 12% discount. How much was the discount? So, the missing element for number 2? Yes, percentage. So, I'll give you time to answer number 3, 4, and 5. Supply the missing term in the blank. Choose your answer from the choices given inside the box. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. The choices are base, decimals, fraction, and rate. When solving any problem in percent, remember the following. Percent problem has three elements, the base, rate, and percentage. Percentage is a part of a whole. So let's start. Blank is the total or whole number. So for number one, the answer is base. Correct. Base is the total or whole number. The number with the percent sign is the correct. That is rate. Then, continue number 3 and number 4. I'll give you 2 minutes for that. Rate can be written as blank or as a blank. Time starts now. Identify the rate, the base, and percentage. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1, 30% of N is 12. And what is the rate? Yes, that is 30%. The base is missing, and that is N. And the percentage is 12. Number 2, N is 30% of 12,000. 
the rate is of course 30 percent while the base is 12,000 while the percentage is missing and that is n so i'll give you time to answer number three four and number five time starts now For your assessment, choose the letter of the correct answer, write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. What term means per hundred? Is it A. Base, B. Percent, C. Percentage, D. Rate. For number 2. Which of the following is correct? A. 33% equals 3300. B. 33% equals 3 and 3 tenths. C. 33% equals 33. And letter D. 33% equals 3 and 3 hundredths. Number 3. 45% of the grade 5 pupils are girls. Express 45% as decimals. A. 45,000. B. 4,500. C. 4 and 5 tenths. D. 45. Number 4. In the statement, 35% of 600 equals 210 which is the percentage a 35 percent b 600 c 210 d 9 number five which does not belong a 25 percent b 2500 c 21 is to 100 d 21 Number 6. Which element of percent represent part of the whole? A. Base B. Percent C. Percentage D. Rate Number 7. In a survey on the choice of pizza, 900 out of 1,500 people preferred brand A to B. What percent preferred A? What is the missing element? A. Base B. Percent C. Percentage D. Rate Number 8. What is the missing element in the problem? A big theater has 1,400 seats. During a concert, it is 95% full. How many seats were taken? A base, B percent, C percentage, D rate. Number 9. Which element of percent represents the whole? A base, B percent, C percentage, D rate. Number 10. How many is 75% of a class? A one third, B one half, C three fourths, D five sixths. The table below shows the scores of four pupils in a recent periodic test. Use the table to answer the question that follows. Do it on your answer sheet. Number one. Among the pupils, who got the highest score in math? And the answer is Laika. How about in science? Jake and Ruby. So for letter C, D, and E, and number 2, I'll give you time to answer those questions. Time starts now. 
Muli maraming salamat sa inyo. Hanggang sa susunod natin mga videos. Paalam!